Hello and welcome to Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, I just want to share with you what's going on in my greenhouse. And for those of you all who are new to my channel, this is my greenhouse that I use to keep all of my starts. And for those of you all who are continuing viewers, let's go inside and see what I have growing in the greenhouse. As you can see, I've brought three rows of seedlings into the greenhouse, and they are going to remain in here until I plant them. Um, inside the house, I have a lot of seedlings that have not been uh, hardened off. They're still under grow lights, but in order for me to save space, I have to move the ones that are older out and we'll be bringing additional ones in as time goes on. But guys, this is my greenhouse and I have truly enjoyed having a greenhouse. Uh, this is a five by eight space and it's about seven to eight feet tall. And I'm using this Polytech plastic here uh, for the greenhouse. It has to be um, heated, so I do have an electric heater here um, that I use on evenings when the temperature is going to drop too low and it will require heat in here. Uh, but most of the seedlings that I have in here are my brassicas. And as I've stated, it has really been a joy um, having a greenhouse. Uh, it has been like having a new toy, uh, especially during those winter months when you have the garden itch and you need to scratch where well, you can come on out to the greenhouse. And uh, this time of year between, I would say between February and May, those are the main periods in which I'm using the greenhouse because once it gets too warm, of course, you know, nothing can really do well in here um, because of the humidity. And at that po point, I typically use it uh, to dry some of my herbs or just to store some supplies that, um, that you know, the heat doesn't bother it. Um, I'm also trying to store some of my olive trees um, that I purchased that is not really native to my growing zone, but of course I wanted to give it a try. So I have a lot of things like this also that I have to either bring indoors or bring into the greenhouse. And because this is a small space, uh, I'm contemplating building a hoop house uh, where I can grow food all year round, as well as store those tropical plants or things like pineapple and my citrus um, inside the hoop house where I can keep them there as opposed to having to bring them in uh, over the winter. Uh, but guys, this is my greenhouse. I really love this greenhouse. I think it was a great investment on my part. Okay, guys, just wanted to share this with you all. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. In the inside, guys, I have lots of things growing. Right here, I have Swiss chard. I have Lone Keeper tomatoes here. And I have cabbage here. And then under the lights, I have some things. This is above the light. Under here I have, uh, looks like my celery has come up and uh, the uh, Brussels sprouts have come up there in the back. Um, here uh, I have green bell peppers. I think these are the California wonders. I have my sweet potato here. And this one, I have some more broccoli that I'm trying to germinate. And over here, I have spinach. And below down here, this is above the lights because I'm having to rotate um, things under the light back and forth. But over here, I have more cabbage, uh, tomatoes. This is a different type of tomato. It's on the container. Uh, more cabbage and over there those are the beefsteak tomatoes and then under the lights under the bottom here on the floor 
or more Roma tomatoes, uh, some sage, kale, and some other things. These are like my habanero peppers, uh, cayenne pepper, things like that. And I have queen of heart tomatoes over there. And these are all of the things that I have growing inside of the house. And as I've stated, you know, once I have been able to acclimate, uh, acclimate them to outdoors, I then shift them into the greenhouse until they are ready to be placed in the garden. Okay, guys, have a great day. God bless.